Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here live in Los Angeles with James Jacob Prash. Jacob, one of the believers had the question, who is Neville Johnson? Neville Johnson is somebody who fancies himself to be a last day's Bible teacher. He was actually born in Great Britain, but lived mainly in New Zealand. At present, he has a ministry of sorts based, I believe, in, in Perth, Australia as far as I'm aware. He was somebody who was part of a long list of Pentecostal preachers from New Zealand and Australia who became publicly exposed in very serious sexual immorality. Uh, this long index of Pentecostal leaders included the patriarch of Hillsong, Frank Houston, a uh, homosexual pedophile, Jim Wright, uh, obviously, Ian Bilby, the superintendent of Elam, who was a serial adulterer, Wayne Hughes, the former general secretary of the Assemblies of God in New Zealand, who was also a pedophile, and not least of all was, of course, Neville Johnson. Neville Johnson, when he was caught, for want of a better term, believed that he heard from the Lord that it was all right to have three church secretaries drop by the motel room where he was fasting and praying to perform oral sex on him. Uh, this is how sick and perverted this guy was. Uh, anyway, this was when he was the pastor of the Queen Street Assemblies of God Church, at that time quite a large Pentecostal church in Auckland, New Zealand. Fast forward. Today he's a necromancer. He claims to get visitations from Joseph the son of Jacob from the book of Genesis, who gives him prophetic warnings of events to come concerning modern world events. His influences include the great granddaddy of money preachers, T.L. Osborne, and the heretical false prophet, William Branham, who prophesied, the Trinity is of the devil, thus saith the Lord. So he's a Branhamite, he's a follower of T.L. Osborne's teaching. He's a necromancer. Uh, and he obviously is somebody who was not biblically qualified to be in ministry. Sadly, and not surprisingly, Satan is a sandwich maker. Some of the things the man says are doctrinally true. Again, it's a classical case of parasogzusin, false teachers and false prophets, as Peter said in Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1, putting truth next to error. Although he may say certain true things, it doesn't matter what he says. He has no biblical right to be in the ministry. He does not have a good reputation with those outside the church. If he really repented of those things, he would accept the consequences of his actions, as we've said before. He's not somebody to whom I would ascribe any credibility whatsoever. He's a man who should be ignored. He has a history of gross sexual immorality and corrupt leadership. He is a protege of heretics and false prophets. T.L. Osborne and William Branham are two of the worst ever. And uh, again, he's a necromancer. He actually claims visitations of the dead, giving him prophetic revelation. Uh, this is Neville Johnson. Only crazy people, ignorant people, undiscerning people w would attribute any credibility to a man like this. My best advice have nothing to do with them. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash.